Hello everyone and welcome to Jimin Weekly News. I'm the Dream and here is the first news for you. Jimin's Like Crazy becomes the first song by a K-pop soloist to spend 50 weeks on Billboard Global 200 list. Our Jimini achieved another historic record as his song Like Crazy became the first song by a K-pop soloist ranking recently on number 144 on the Billboard Global 200 list and by doing so, spending 50 straight weeks on the chart. Additionally, on March 20th, the song extended its record as the longest charting song by Korean or K-pop soloist even further to 51 weeks on both Billboard Global 200, jumping to number 142, and on Billboard Global excluding US chart at number 115. And then Like Crazy by Jimin became the first solo song by a K-soloist in history to spend 150 days on the Spotify USA Daily Top Songs chart and it became the 8th most streamed song by K-pop Korean act and 3rd most streamed Korean song in US Spotify history, surpassing My Universe by BTS and Coldplay. And on top of that, Like Crazy also now became the longest charting song by K-Soloist on Spotify Daily Top Songs Global Chart. And next, we got other chart achievements. As of March 24th, Like Crazy remains at number one on Deezer Top 100 Worldwide Chart. The song extends its record as the first and only song by K-pop act to achieve this feature on the platform for 32 days. Eight of Jimin's songs also occupy the chart, including Like Crazy remixes that have charted on the Deezer Top 100 Worldwide chart for the first time on March 22nd. And then Jimin's Like Crazy now ties as the longest charting song by a Korean K-pop soloist on the Spotify Global Weekly chart. It has now been on the chart for a full year, 52 weeks, and is the first Korean song by K soloist and the first solo song by a K soloist to do so. Congratulations to our lovely Timini for those recent achievements, and like always, we are very proud. And next up, ARMY thinks that Jimin impacted Ryan Gosling's epic performance at the 2024 Oscars. At the Oscars ceremony this year, Ryan Gosling performed his epic track from Barbie movie I'm Just Ken. The actor was dressed in a pink suit and truly on the stage, but something was missing and armies joked it could be Jimin's fault. But what does it have to do with Jimin? As we all know, at the time when clips of the movie started to be shared, armies noticed that Ryan Gosling wore a shirt identical to the one worn by Timin in the Permission to Dance music video. And after seeing the comparisons, we know that Ryan Gosling sent a special message to Timin through social media and gifted him his special Ken guitar. And now, considering the fact that Ryan Gosling was without his iconic guitar at the Oscars, it wasn't surprising that all posts led to Jimin. Many joked that Ken couldn't use his guitar because it had been gifted to Jimin, and many shared the video of Jimin receiving the gift. And it is not surprising that many armies could probably only think about Jimin during Ryan's performance. Hopefully, when Jimin is discharged from the army that he is serving right now, he can lend back the guitar to Ryan 
for their special collaboration performance. Wouldn't it be awesome to see them both together on stage? And do you think that the reason behind Ryan performing without his Ken guitar could be the fact that he gifted it to Jimin? Tell me in the comments! And the next news, Jimin was reportedly assigned to Military's Fire Direction Center, which is commonly called the brain of the artillery. According to the update translated by one of the voted armies, Jimin was officially assigned to the Artillery FDC on March 6th, making him the only member to join this specialized unit, which further solidified his success during his military service. The Field Artillery Fire Direction Center duties encompass a range of tasks, including formulating fire plans, accurately aiming cannons, and delivering precise hits on targets. This entails utilizing advanced technology, radar systems, and intricate algorithms to swiftly and accurately determine firing coordinates. FTC personnel take great pride in their pivotal role within artillery operations, and we are also very proud that our Jiminy can fulfill such an impactful role during his service. So, in honor of Jimin's 100 days of military service on March 20th, Jimin Hungary fanbase symbolically adopted a polar bear from Worldwide Fund for Nature Hungary. And why a polar bear, you might ask? Well, indeed, because Jimin serves in the White Bear Artillery Brigade of the 5th Infantry Division. The fanbase will also repeat the adoption every 100 days until Jimin's return. What a heartwarming gesture that follows Jimin's example of love and kindness for this world. And finally, I got for you additionally an OT7 news, which is that the Ministry of Sports in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia seeks to contract with the international band BTS to promote the 2034 FIFA World Cup. Sponsorship includes presenting the opening ceremony. And it is outstanding to see because the way they know BTS's longevity will continue through the next 10 years and more that they even try to book them 10 years in advance. Our boys' impact is unmatchable. Next, let's move on to Jimin's first solo debut masterpiece of an album, Face One Year Anniversary Celebration News. So first, on March 17th, we celebrated one year anniversary of the first pre-release single from Face Set Me Free Part 2, a beloved song that showcased our Jimini as a performer and musician that goes beyond convention. Created when he was feeling lost and depressed but determined to overcome those feelings and express them in this truly empowering song. So, to honor this anniversary of the iconic start to an incredible era, ARMY of course trended many celebratory hashtags and keywords in South Korea and the United States as well as on Twitter X worldwide. 
and then to commemorate Set Me Free Part 2 Anniversary, Chimini fanbase Jimin Data decided to donate under Jimin's name to the United Nations World Food Program, which leading motto is no child should die of hunger when there's enough food in the world for us all. There were also many support advertisements conducted by another fanbase, all for Jimin Core, to celebrate the release of Jimin's pre-released song Set Me Free Part 2 and his first solo album Face Anniversary played across many different locations in Seoul, South Korea. There was also a Jimin advertisement prepared by at Lulu Jimina that was shown on the massive TSX screen in Times Square, New York, commemorating as well the anniversary of the release of Set Me Free Part 2. Armies on TikTok also have posted few videos of Set Me Free Part 2 anniversary celebrations like this awesome party. And this amazing creation of photo screenshot from Set Me Free Part 2 MV that all of us need immediately in our rooms. I mean, look at this. That moment in the music video is like a piece of art itself. So framing it this way is just incredible idea. We also reminded ourselves of how Set Me Free Part 2 took the music industry by storm and was praised globally by publications like Vulture, Billboard, Rolling Stones, Consequence of Sound, and many more. The initial achievements of the song were also huge, breaking many records and earning many first song titles. Let's also look back on our Jimini sincere reaction to the song reaching number 30 on Billboard Hot 100. Semi Free Part 2 Billboard Hot 132 진입을 했다는 소식을 들었습니다. 와, 말도 안 돼. 너무 감사합니다. 여러분, 너무 감사해요. 그리고 뭐 스포티파이 얘기도 들었었고요. Set Me Free Part 2 is a testament to Jimin's artistry from vocals, flow and rap, choreography, production, lyrics, and his ability to connect with listeners by showcasing his musical versatility and heartfelt sincerity. And then, on March 24th, the first anniversary of the release of our Jimini first solo masterpiece album Face and main Billboard Hot 100 topping hit single Like Crazy came and the whole army world was celebrating it. There were many beautifully prepared Jimin Army fan bases projects like First, the lamp post banners that were prepared by all four Jimin Core fanbase outside the Hype Building in Yongsan on March 23rd and 24th. Beautiful photos were taken and a video of the lovely street light banners was recorded and uploaded on social media by one of the passing by armies as well as we got a video post on Instagram from Soul Street photographer Soul 4K, who also filmed the banners outside Hype Building in Seoul. Additionally, all four Jimin Core fanbase and Jimin's Chinese fanbase Jimin Moon Rising has both arranged for Kakao Talk banner ads on the day of the first anniversary of FACE to celebrate the joyous day on one of the Korea's most popular social app. 
Jimin Moon Rising fan base in celebration of the first anniversary prepared as well beautiful ads on billboards located at each end of the transfer walkway to Airport Express in Hongik University Station. And they will be running from March 23rd to 29th. Here's a view of the ad with the passersby. Streetlight banners were also displayed in Jimin's hometown, Busan. They were located near Magnate Cafe from March 16th to 24th. And in this video captured by ARMY, we could catch sight of these lovely banners, which we are very grateful for. So if we mention Magnate, the cafe owned by Jimin Dad, it held an event on March 24th to celebrate the first anniversary of FACE and gave out albums to 15 lucky customers visiting the cafe with certain selected recipe number. The cafe announced it in a post on their official Instagram account with a caption saying, The season to bloom is here. Everything you try to do like flowers blooming, I hope you are in full bloom like spring flowers. It's still cold, the wind is cold, be careful not to catch a cold. And one of the lucky winners turned out to be the admin of Jimin Hungary fanbase that shared their joy in the post on Twitter X. Jimin's dad is always so thoughtful like his son, including this special message in the announcement and being so sweet to armies visiting the cafe and even displaying the bust created by artist Yulia Minina and at BTS Foria SPB for Jimin's birthday in 2022. And then, as of other Street View events, we got a bus stop ad prepared by Jimin fans, the Bujang Girls, that will run at the bus stop in Hanamdong, Seoul, between March 22nd and April 6th, with a heartfelt message saying, We'll be with you every moment, everywhere, every day. Even the time spent waiting for you is a joy for us. Love you, Jimin. And then the massive TSX screen in Times Square, New York lit up with an advertisement for celebration of the first anniversary of Jimin's beloved album Face from at Louis Miguel chart. See how outstanding Jimin looks on this huge screen. And next, we could witness several wonderful cafe events organized by many lovely army Jimin lovers. First, there was an event held at Cafe Kid Moon in Seoul on Saturday, March 23rd, hosted by at Face the Moon 1013. The cafe itself posted a teaser photo before the start of the event and later we got a video glimpse of the inside decorations from the organizers themselves. Truly amazing! Then we got an event held from March 23rd to 24th at Jaden Cafe in Ilsangu, South Korea, organized by at Mimi at Corner and revealed to us in this showcase video where everything looked so pretty.
Next, to celebrate the first anniversary of Jimin's debut album phase, some fans gathered at Café Fandomus for an immersive video screening event while enjoying refreshments and drinks. Jimin lovers surely know how to be lost in the lights and have so much fun. <laughs> And speaking of great Jimin Face anniversary parties, in Peru, a whole bus was having so much fun as well, celebrating. Just take a look. Also in Manila, many Timin lovers gathered together at Purple 7 Cafe to celebrate the first anniversary of FACE with a pretty cake and balloons. And here is their message. Happy first FACE anniversary, And finally, in conclusion of the news about offline celebrations, there was one more cafe event organized by at PJM Hungary held at Fine Tea in Budapest on March 23rd and 24th with Timin's Music All Day, Lucky Draw, Dedicated Drinks, Timin Quiz and Donation Campaign. So now, let's take a look at FACE and Like Crazy Anniversary, online army events and initiatives. To start off, of course, Jimin took over the top 4 trends in South Korea and top 4 worldwide trends on Twitter X, including hashtag one year with FACE and hashtag one year with Like Crazy that was also trending at number 3 and number 4 in the United States. Then, ARMY started to post photos of their entries for cake for Jimin's face anniversary contest that was organized by at Jiminy Melody on Twitter X, TikTok, Instagram and YouTube Shorts. All the entries I was able to track and find on all listed above social media were absolutely wonderful and they all deserve praise and recognition. So let's admire them all for a minute because I'm in love. And tell me in the comments which cake is your favorite and if you maybe took part in this event yourself. As well as baking the most scrumptious cakes, we also saw Jimin Army fans donating to charitable causes in celebration of Jimin's debut anniversary. To highlight a few, in support of children with brain tumors and other serious brain diseases, 
to support children and adolescents with cancer and in support of animals in need and prevention of cruelty to animals. Timin would be so incredibly proud to know he has fostered such acts of kindness. And to top it all off, we got upcoming Rolling Stone Korea columnist Isak Choi intense review of face that will be published next week in celebration of its first anniversary and i will report on it in the next timin news episode as well as we could enjoy the german radio active magazine article about the immense success of timin's first solo album face mentioning all of its achievements in it and then also, like crazy co-writer Blush wrote about her pride of the song on its anniversary, including almost reaching 1 billion streams, hitting number 1 on Hot 100 and number 1 on Spotify Global Daily Song Chart. In the post, she wrote, Beyond proud to be part of this, thanks for all your support. Like Crazy is almost at 1 billion streams. Unbelievable! And on the day of the anniversary, Like Crazy added one more achievement to the list, taking the record for the biggest first year streams for a Korean song in Spotify history. It's also now the most streamed solo song by a K-soloist and the third biggest by K-act of all time in its first year. And at the end, we have to remind ourselves how much praise the album and the song got from worldwide media, how incredibly proud Jimin made his home country of South Korea and how many record-breaking achievements Face album and main song Like Crazy were able to collect during their first year. Though he may seem delicate at first glance, Jimin demonstrates his unpredictability and willingness to take risks on Face. He exposes emotions that may be tough to divulge in relatable ways while also creating music that simply sounds good from the grammys article we are so proud of everything you achieved so far timini and we will support you with all of your future endeavors because we know that your talent and artistry goes beyond the realm of this world. And now, the summary of Jimini mentions by other idols, celebrities, media outlets, and much, much more. First, Timmy Fallon and one of the guests on NBC's show Password bonded over their mutual love for Timini and BTS. Password is a popular American television game show that was originally started on NBC in 1961. The show involved two teams, each consisting of one celebrity and one contestant, who compete against each other to guess secret words based on one-word clues provided by the teammates. The objective is to guess the password without using any part of the word itself or any derivative forms of it. The show is known for its simple yet challenging gameplay. Every episode, this show sees new contestants. And recently, Timmy Fallon found a companion who sails in the same boat on March 19th when... One of the guests said that she's a fan of BTS, specifically member Jimin. We both love Jimin. Oh, Jimin, oh, yes. that's right. Come on, I love it. So, so yes. what's your favorite K-pop band? It's gotta be BTS. Next, we had another television 
Jiminy mentioned this time from Europe, where the biggest French private news broadcasting company TF1 aired footage of Jimin's filter stage during its primetime news show. Jimin was featured on the topic of the growing popularity of makeup in men, along with other celebrities like David Beckham. TF1 is not only France's first and oldest TV channel, but also number one TV station for the French-speaking countries. We are very proud that they used Jiminy's footage to represent K-pop in their news segment, once again proving that our Jiminy is K-pop's frontman. And then we also got SBS News coverage highlighting Jimin's impact on the globalization of ramen as the exports of K-ramen exceeded a record high of 1 trillion won in 2023. And if you remember, in one of the previous episodes of Jimin Weekly News last month, I also told you about Jimin's impact on the globalization of K-food being highlighted in a case study by Harvard University Graduate School of Business. Previously, it has been reported as well that ramen is in its second heyday and that Jimin is also promoting K-culture as a leading figure in K-food craze, contributing to the best achievement ever in ramen exports. Even Samyang Foods thanked Jimin for this contribution. Next up, Brazilian actress and style icon Marina Rui Barbosa shared a video of herself cheerfully dancing in front of Jimin's huge ad for UPIC February monthly pick in Seoul. And she captioned her post, Me and Jimin. Previously in 2021, she also posted about Jimin having red hair her trademark in a tweet commenting on then recent BTS cloud ad. And speaking of Jimini and Yupik ads, this lovely art reward for winning the Yupik February monthly best pick was spotted at the Times Square, New York. And then on March 20th, with 99,548,587 votes, Jimin ranked first in monthly pick K-pop artist boy of March in the U Pick March monthly best pick. And he will receive another Coex Media Tower ad reward in Seoul for three days. Congratulations, Jimini, and thank you so much to Team Jimin for your great, consistent teamwork. And next, staying in the streets of Seoul, street photographer Seoul 4K captured in the recent video the beauty of early spring surrounding Chungyecheon stream in the midst of Seoul using Like Crazy as background music, which perfectly captured the atmosphere presented in the footage. And then we got a funny situation with an actor, Na In Woo who very quickly buttoned up his shirt while watching Jimin and Temin perform the guilty challenge on the big screen at his fan meeting event in Bangkok. We understand that such a high standard can be sometimes very intimidating. Next, in the recent video posted on the platform Bilibili, 
by creator Xiaoku, who had a training background in traditional dance for seven years and contemporary dance for three years, they gave an in-depth analysis of Jimin fake love performance and why it proved Jimin is one of the best main dancers in K-pop. In their statements, they said, in 2019, I accidentally watched the fake love dance practice video and Jimin immediately caught my attention. Even though I knew nothing about K-pop at that time, I cried my heart out watching it. The choreography of fake love most of the time actually requires you not to treat yourself as a human being but as a marionette. The way Jimin can treat himself as a marionette is truly impressive. Fake love requires performers to have very strong emotional perception. Expressing emotions is more difficult than the choreography itself. The emotional appeal in Jimin's performance is so strong. He is the perfect marionette. And he has higher standards for his dancing than others. I will leave a link for you to the full video with English subtitles in the description. And then recently we also got a Star News article on Naver where they talked about Japanese comedian, entertainer and actress Kiriko Isono saying on a variety show that she went to the local restaurant visited by Jimin, saying I sat in the same seat where Jimin sat and waited for two hours to eat. Kiriko Isono visited the restaurant and despite waiting for a long time, not only sat in the same seat as Jimin, but also ate the same menu as him, saying the food Jimin ordered was delicious, but it was so spicy. She showed her fan love, saying if you think you can eat it, the spicy taste will make you feel good. I ate it thinking several times this is the spicy taste of happiness. And next up, in recently released Jungkook interview for Cyrus XM Game of K-Pop Superlatives, he was asked a question who amongst BTS will most likely have an emotional moment on stage. And his answer was Jimin. JK said that Jimin has that look in his eyes. During group concert, when I feel moved, I'd be tearing up whereas Jimin will hold on to that sentiment throughout, he has those eyes. And we completely agree, because we know that our Jiminy has the purest and kindest heart and we can all feel his emotional intelligence exactly by looking into his eyes. And then next, in another interview posted on Dev Art YouTube channel, Hype IT developer Song Juyong described meeting Jimin as he said, Among BTS members, my favorite is Jimin. His attitude was most memorable. He approached me first, super friendly and cheerful, with a deep bow and smiley face. His body is beautiful, even though petite, he has a beautiful body line. Watching this behavior, I realized his image and real personality are the same, so my favorite is Jimin. Everyone who ever gets a chance to meet our Jimin immediately falls into his charming aura and we love to see it. And speaking of Jiminy's charm, we also can witness it being an inspiration for a fantastic fan art pieces of many very talented members of ARMY like this incredible painting posted not long ago on Instagram. Our muse of art Jiminy is shining brightly like always. Then we had a new Jimin video uploaded on Japan Army fan club page 
titled Army Snack Time, where we could see Jiminy preparing some sweet mochi for us. We are always excited to see Jiminy in his culinary chef YouTuber era because we could watch him cook and look so adorable while doing so for hours. And then also on Line Friends official Twitter X account, we could see a teaser for a brand new BT21 Spring Days collection coming to Line Friends online and offline stores on March 26th. And our sweetest Timmy looks so cute in his cherry blossom fluffy hat, absolutely adorable, just like his dad. And next, we got Jimin ranking 5th in brand reputation rankings for individual boy group members for March 2024. He was the only BTS member in the top 10 and remains as the first and only idol to top this ranking for 35 consecutive months and 49 months overall. The fact Jimin has remained in the top 5 despite his inactivity and enlistment is truly amazing. And as the final mention of this episode, we got a new like crazy army trend on TikTok because even though not long ago the original sound was removed from the platform, it hasn't stopped armies from creating content related to the song. So that is all for this week's news, and at the end, like always, please enjoy Jiminy Achievements. See you next time!